Hi everyone. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Blue Aquatics. Friends, do you know the impact of bio balls on aquarium water quality? In this video, we will explore the differences between aquarium that use bio balls and those that don't use bio balls in their aquarium and how this affects the health and clarity of the water. So let's dive into this video and let's check what is the difference between those aquariums that use bio balls and those don't use bio balls. Friends, as you can see in my hand, these are bio balls. These are typical type of biological filter media used in aquariums to enhance water quality. These are made from durable plastic with a porous surface and they provide an ideal environment for beneficial bacteria to colonize. These bacteria play a crucial role in breaking down harmful substances like ammonia and nitrites, converting them into less harmful nitrates. Now let's look at how bio balls work in more details. Bio balls are designed to maximize surface area, allowing for a large colony of beneficial bacteria. When water flows over these bio balls, the bacteria break down toxic ammonia produced by fish waste, uneaten food and plant debris. Let me tell you some benefits of using bio balls. Aquariums using bio balls benefit from enhanced biological filtration leading to several key improvements in water quality. Number one is ammonia and nitrite reduction. Bio balls help reduce toxic ammonia and nitrites which are harmful to fish. The beneficial bacteria on the bio balls convert these substances into nitrates which are less harmful and can be removed through regular water changes. Second is stable water parameters. With efficient biological filtration, aquariums with bio balls tend to have more stable water parameters. This stability is crucial for maintaining a healthy environment for fish and other aquatic life. The third one is enhanced clarity. Bio balls contribute to cleaner water by maintaining a balanced ecosystem. The bacteria help prevent the buildup of organic waste reducing cloudiness and improving overall water clarity. Fourth is reduced maintenance. By improving the efficiency of the biological filtration, bio balls can reduce the frequency and intensity of maintenance tasks, such as cleaning the filtration and performing water changes. Differences without bio balls. Now let me tell you what happens in aquariums that do not use bio balls or any form of biological filtration media? First is higher ammonia and nitrite levels. Without bio balls, ammonia and nitrite levels can rise more quickly, leading to a toxic environment for fish. This can cause stress, illness, and even death of your fish. Second is unstable water parameters. Aquarium without effective biological filtration often experience unstable water parameters, making, making it challenging to maintain a healthy environment for aquatic life. Third is increased cloudiness. Without the bacteria provided by bio balls, organic waste can accumulate, leading to cloudy water and poor visibility in the tank. The fourth point is more frequent maintenance. Aquariums without bio balls require more frequent and thorough cleaning to manage waste and maintain water quality, increasing the time and effort needed for maintenance. Now, let me tell you how to use bio balls effectively. To reap the benefits of bio balls, it, it's essential to use them correctly in your aquarium setup. Here are some tips to use these bio balls. First is placement in the filter. Place bio balls in the biological filtration section of your filter where water flow is steady. This ensures that the bacteria have continuous oxygen to excess and nutrients. 
Second is regular rinsing. Rinse bio balls in aquarium water only during routine maintenance to remove any debris without killing beneficial bacteria. Avoid using tap water as chlorine can harm the bacteria. Third is adequate quantity. Use an adequate quantity of bio balls based on your tank size and stocking levels. More bio balls provide a larger surface area for bacteria, improving filtration efficiency. Fourth is supplement with other filtration. Combine bio balls with mechanical and chemical filtration to achieve optimal water quality. Mechanical filtration removes solid waste while chemical filtration can address specific contaminants. So let's compare two aquariums, one using bio balls and one without, to illustrate the difference in water quality and maintenance. Firstly, let me show you aquarium with bio balls. As you can see, I'm having a flower on pair with bio balls in this tank and I'm using these bio balls from last six months or you can say more than that. In this tank, I usually change water after one month only. And you can see my fishes are healthy and active and thriving in their environment. You can see water is very clear and it requires minimal maintenance of changing the water. Now let me show you other aquarium that don't use bio balls. This aquarium is around 5 or 5 and a half feet in length. It has various or uh, different type of imported fishes like arowana, king kong parrot and stingray. In my last video I had already shown that the water quality was clear in that tank but stingray was still swimming at the top of the surface. But after changing the water it was resting at the bottom of the tank which means the water was not clear and it this tank was not using bio balls so we had started using bio balls in this tank and let's see how it works in this tank in conclusion using bio balls in your aquarium can significantly enhance water quality by providing efficient biological filtration this leads to reduced toxic substances stable water parameters clearer water and less frequent maintenance by incorporating bio balls into your filtration system, you create a healthier and more stable environment for your aquatic life. So friends, thank you for joining us in this detailed exploration of bio balls and their impact on aquarium water quality. We hope this information helps you create a thriving and beautiful aquatic environment. So happy fishkeeping everyone. Also, don't forget to like subscribe and share for more tips on maintaining a healthy aquarium see you next time bye bye